Hey Virgo, thanks for checking out your love and romance reading for October 2021. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You might see this video after October, that's fine. You're going to see it whenever you're meant to see it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings... Let's see what's coming up here for the Virgo Collective. One more shuffle. Alrighty. <clears throat> so the first card we have coming up here is the Six of Wands. And this is victory. This is overcoming challenges, overcoming obstacles. So whether you've been having challenges in your... Uh, current relationship or if you've just been having challenges in your area of love life six of wands is really positive because it's letting us know that you're overcoming those challenges and those obstacles there could also be something happening for some of you where there's a lot of positive talk about you in terms of recent accomplishments right um uh it doesn't have to be work it doesn't have to be career like if you're involved in uh, like a certain community or organization or hobbies that you have or creative endeavors that you're doing, if you're not doing them for work, uh, there could be a lot of positive talk about you. People could be saying really positive things about you and it could be piquing someone's interest like, ooh, Who's this Virgo person? I want to I wanna meet this Virgo person. So there could be something where your reputation is preceding you, right? Like people are hearing about you. And someone's like, ooh, Virgo sounds like, you know, who's this big deal Virgo? So there could be something like this that you've had recent accomplishments and people are saying good things about you. And through that positive, I guess, gossip, but positive, uh, somebody is like wanting to know who you are and they may be showing up somewhere uh, to try to you know see who you are talk to you meet you so this could be a performance if you do certain kind of performances uh, if you're working at a certain place they might try to stop in and, and kind of see you know who is this person or if it's like a organization meeting or like church meeting or something there could be someone who's like i gotta find out who this virgo is uh six of wands can also be and that that thing about like somebody reaching out or trying to see who you are that's my intuitive feeling about the card let me clarify like that's the intuitive feeling that I feel I feel that for a lot of you someone's hearing about you and they're like I just want to know who this person is and maybe it's like through mutual friends maybe um uh a, a relative or friend of yours is dating a relative or friend of theirs you may have come up in conversation and this person's like, oh, I want to I want to see Virgo. Who's Virgo? I want to meet Virgo. Um, and that's what I'm feeling intuitively. I'm feeling it's like through, through like word of mouth. Uh, it can be, uh, as I said, overcoming challenges and obstacles because uh, that is one of the meanings of the card. And for some of you, uh, say maybe it's a situation where you were you're interested in somebody or you're meeting somebody you're interested in somebody and you might be like oh well, I don't know they seem to have a lot of people chasing after them and I'm not interested in getting involved in that and you might just be like uh oh, forget it you know like I'll just I'll just focus on something else because there are a lot of thirsty people around this person you may catch that person's eye like they may see you and be like oh Wow, Virgo is really standing out. Virgo is not thirsty. Virgo is not desperate. I like that. <laughs> you know, like Virgo is not like a, a you know, uh, like, like Virgo is carrying themselves well. So there could be something here where you're you're standing out from the crowd. And um, I've used this phrase in the past and people have gotten upset when I say you're beating out the competition and people are like, oh, no, I don't compete. If they have options, well, don't let them go pick the other options. You don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is 
first and foremost, beating out the competition is one of the key phrases of this card. That's why I use that terminology. But it's not like you're competing and trying to get this person's attention. This person is noticing you because they like how you're carrying yourself, right? They're used to being chased. So they could be very attractive. They could be very successful. And so they might get a lot of attention. But they've learned that this attention is not good attention. They've learned that people who are chasing after me like this, they're coming at me for the wrong reasons right? So they see you and they're like, oh, I like Virgo. So don't get offended if I say beating out the competition. I'm not saying that you're competing with anybody, but those other people see you as competition and, and they can't compete with you, okay? Next card coming up for Virgo is the Nine of Pentacles. So it definitely could be something through work, right? Like maybe you're really doing well in work, there's positive talk or things being said about you in your work or in your field. Uh, so there could be attention coming your way. Uh, there could also be here, if you've been having challenges in your love life or in your relationships, some people don't know this, but Nine of Pentacles is a card about uh, succeeding through like overcoming our anxiety, overcoming uh, that monkey mind, right? Overcoming the mental and the emotional uh, static <laughs> that we all experience from time to time. So like maybe in the past, anxiety has gotten the best of you or um, like doubts or insecurities uh, or you couldn't focus on your relationship because of things happening in your personal life or things happening in your family. And the Nine of Pentacles tells us you have all of this in order now. Even if the issues aren't resolved, you've gotten a handle on being able to disconnect from these things and not internalizing them and like not letting it overtake you and being able to focus on what you need to focus on and being able to do what you need to do. So some of you, anxiety, fears, worries have gotten in the way of relationships, but you're overcoming that now. You're coming out of that cycle, all right? For other ones of you, you may be meeting this person through work. Um, and maybe for some of you, it's a combination of, uh, of these, right? Like somebody is coming forward and maybe in the past, your anxiety would have caused you to just shut the person out and say, nope, I'm going to focus on career or I'm going to focus on something else or you just haven't been able to let the person in or you haven't been able to connect even though you wanted to because of this anxiety. But that's not going to be the problem this time. You're not going to have that issue this time, right? Nine of Pentacles also kind of comes in uh, with the feeling of like a not so secret admirer. So some of you may be noticing that there's someone that's paying attention to you. Like, you know, you've caught their eye. You know, you've caught their eye. You know it. But you're like, why is this person not making a move? What in the heck? And you're like, I try to smile. I try to start conversation. <laughs> Max is agreeing. He always jumps in on the Virgo readings, I swear. Babas, is that happening to you right now? You try to smile and be nice and nothing happens. Um, he's, he's sleep barking. He's barking in his sleep. So you're like, I try to, I try to, you know, let this person know like, hey, you know, approach and, and they don't. Uh, it's because um, a lot of the times this person is admiring you from a distance because they're trying to figure you out. Like you're a little bit too good to be true. Like, they're like, they've been burned in the past. They've dealt with people in the past who seem so sweet or so nice or, you know, so high vibrational. And then the relationship gets really serious and the mask slips off and the claws come out and they're like, oh, wow, now I'm now I'm stuck. Now I'm trapped with a very toxic person. And so they're trying to make sure, like, are you really what you seem? And I've said this in previous readings. It makes me think of the song by Blake Shelton, who are you when I'm not looking? So this person is really examining you from a distance because they want to figure out your character. They want to figure out like who you really are when 
you think people aren't paying attention. And so they may pay attention to really little minute details. And that's another reason why you're like, they keep, I can tell they're paying attention to me. Oh, they're not talking to me, right? They are paying attention to you. They're, they're getting a good feel of who you are before they approach and before they make the um, attempt to, to get to know you better. But they will, right? They will approach you. Uh, I do feel for some of you, um, uh, I'm sorry to say, this sounds like forever from now, uh, but this person may not uh, approach until about December or January. Uh, and then things may not be official, official until about February. I know that sounds like it's a world away, but uh, it's really a, a couple of months, a few months. Uh, but I do feel some of you do have this happening to you in October where you're like, come on, ask me out already. And they're just like, I just want to make sure I'm not going to get burned. I just want to make sure Virgo is not too good to be true. The next card that's coming up here is the nine of wands. You're almost there, my lovelies. Nine of wands tells us we're coming here uh, to the finish line, right? You're almost there. Don't give up. Don't get discouraged. So whatever you're trying to overcome or whatever it is you're waiting on, you're almost there, right? Those of you who've been dealing with the anxiety and you're like, you know what, Amethyst? Yeah, I have been dealing with anxiety. I am ready. I'm going to let, you know, uh, people in or I'm going to let this person in or I'm going to give this relationship a try. I just hope I'm not picking the wrong person. I just hope it's not the wrong one. Or I hope I'm not making a mistake. And Nine of Wands reminds you this isn't your first rodeo. Every lie, every manipulation, every dirty little trick in the book, you've seen it all. You've experienced it before. You know what to pay attention to. You know what the red flags are. And you know when people remind you of someone. When you're like, oh, that person really reminds me of my cousin that was always talking about me behind my back and uh, always trying to turn people against me. Oh, that person reminds me of that one ex that was completely and totally mooching off me and cheating on me left and right. You know when you have those moments. When you have those moments, that's your intuition telling you, oh, we know this energy. We've taken this class before. We don't need to repeat this lesson. And so as long as you're paying attention, like, oh, this reminds me of somebody, somebody from the past, I don't need to repeat that. Or your little spidey senses start tingling, your antenna goes up, okay, you don't need to repeat that. So that being said, you're going to be able to spot things and pay attention to the red flags. And if something's not for you, you're going to be able to nip it in the bud instantly. Even if you're feeling an intense connection, some of you are struggling with that because you've learned that, you know, sometimes we can have an intense connection with someone. We might feel very pulled or drawn to somebody, but then we're like, oh, no, it's karmic, right? And you're like, I don't want another karmic cycle. Guess what? Nine of Wands is telling you you're not going to have another karmic cycle because you'll recognize it and you'll nip that in the bud immediately. You're not going to waste 7, 10, 15, 20 years on some, you know, hot and cold karmic nightmare. You're not going to do that again because you know this time. So you don't have to be scared. You don't have to be afraid. This is like that last big push. And now you're coming into, okay, this is the relationship I've always wanted. This is the commitment I want. This is the person I want, right? So don't give up. Don't be scared and don't give up. Trust in your own judgment. I feel that for some of you, and this is coming in intuitively, for some of you, there is a person that people have been trying to keep you all apart. And maybe this person is like way from your past. Like maybe like back in the day, uh, you know, there was, uh, you know, uh, chemistry, there was interest. Maybe you guys were very young and there could have been adults getting in the way, other kids getting in the way. I say kids loosely. I don't mean like elementary school, but you know what I mean? Like other uh, peers, you know, that kind of kind of got involved here and said things and uh, said negative things to you about them and said negative things to them about you and in just lies and jealousy just kind of like kept you all apart 
there may be something for some of you where either word has reached this person that the things that they were told were lies, that you never said and never did the things that people told them that you did. And somebody might say, oh, I was just jealous or, oh, I just I wanted to be with Virgo. That's why I said that. Or Virgo turned me down. And since Virgo turned me down, I didn't I just didn't want to see Virgo with you. Like, I feel that for some of you, this person is going to get told, yeah, I lied to you. I lied to you about Virgo. I wish, oh, but we were kids. It was a long time ago. And this person's like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. This is not a long time ago. This is not, oh, we were kids. This person might see you as like a first love. Or this person might see you as like, I have spent my entire rest of my adult life wondering, like, what could have happened if we were together? Or, or, or what if I had talked to Virgo about it? Like maybe we could have worked it out. You know, I just got mad. I got hurt. I felt betrayed. I just, you know, didn't even discuss it with Virgo. What if I had tried? And and so I feel like for some of you, this person is reaching out and trying to um, like just kind of see where you are in life. Is there a chance? Is there a possibility? You know, they're single. Are you single? So for some of you, I feel like there's a person that people deliberately try to keep you all apart. And that person and you are uniting in some way. Like maybe the universe is just having it happen in a very random way. Maybe you're going back home and visiting and you're running into this person at the grocery store. But I just feel like... Uh, for some of you, there were issues of jealousy, jealousy, resentment, um, and for whatever reason, right, um, now at this time, uh, your your guides are revealing it to, to both of you that, that this, this was a lie, this wasn't the case. And so some of you are going to have a chance now to explore a relationship with this person now that the truth is out and the universe is bringing you all together. There's going to be an opportunity to um, explore the connection that you felt. And I feel like for some of you, the reason why this was allowed, this could be a super, super significant soulmate. And there could be a lot of passion here, like a lot of passion and a very strong connection that you just like neither of you were really ready for it back then because you all were too young you were too young you would not have been able to deal with the intensity of it and it may have uh been destructive right on a on a young mind a young heart without the maturity and the experience that you both have now so i think this is why spirit allowed this interference to happen the next card that's coming up here look at this is the world how lovely the ending of karmic cycles the ending of karmic situations right you've passed the tests now is the time to be seen to be celebrated now is the time uh for happiness you know seeing things through to completion right this isn't just another relationship where it's it just starts and stops or like it goes nowhere like this is something that's progressing towards the goal the goal of the future, the goal of future plans, the goal of commitment, the goal of companionship, the goal of living together, the goal of marriage. Like this is something that's progressing into something, not just something that, okay, well, it's just gonna, you know, we'll just hang out for a little bit and then it's gonna fizzle off and cool off and then we'll just stop talking or, you know, it just, it'll just stop moving forward and it, you know, none of us will try to do anything with it and we'll just, you know, go our separate ways. No. The world card is saying this is coming to completion. This is going to reach, a, 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 it's going to go somewhere, right? It's like where you're wanting it to go. And that's very positive. Next card here is the Knight of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign person, right? And this person may be coming in <laughs> out of uh, kind of like fairly quickly. Um, for those of you that are dealing with somebody from the past, 
that person may be coming in fairly quickly or fairly like intensely like I just found out all these years everything I thought was a lie um, and they may be basically just like saying my heart can't be hurt again so uh, I want to talk to you but if you have zero romantic interest in me and you just do not see any possibility of us being together in a romantic way, then just let me know now and I'll go away. But I just found out everything was a lie. And, and I know you can't tell me right now that you're going to commit to me or that we're going to like be together. But do you think it's possible? Just be honest with me. Do I have a chance? Do I have a chance with you romantically? If I don't, tell me now. And I'm sorry, but I just can't handle being just friends. Right? This person might come in, in this way. Some of you can be dealing with a fire sign person. So fire sign would be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay? Um, I know sometimes the Knight of Wands can be seen negatively in a love reading as somebody who comes in and out. But you're done with that. I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling that vibe. I'm not feeling that aspect of this card as somebody who comes in and out. I'm feeling like this is more so like when this person uh, steps forward, like they're ready. They're ready to do this. Um, and you may also just be in that mindset of like, look, this is what I want. So if this is not where you're headed, don't waste my time. Like you, you, I feel like you are both in that mutual energy and you're seeing eye to eye. So then the relationship will progress. The relationship will progress rather quickly. That's what I feel here. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more. I'm saying weeks is as a weekly forecast. You might want to check out your other placements. Sometimes your other placements might resonate more. Um, I do have a link in the description that will take you to the other love readings. I also have a link in the description that will take you to the weekly forecasts where I talk about everything other than love. And a link that will take you to scheduling private readings with me at the time of posting this video i don't know how long um it'll take you to see the video uh but at, at the time that i posted the video I, I am having a sale on the 60 minute video readings and the 30 minute video readings 60 minute video readings usually go for 150 i'm doing them for 111 and 30 minute video readings usually go for 65 i'm doing them for 44. i also have other readings available that that, that are less so if you want to just go on there and see what's available, please feel free to do so. If anything looks good to you, go ahead and schedule. And I hope you all have a fabulous October. And I hope you'll check out the weekly forecasts and come back for the daily messages. But if not, take care and do check out the November love reading. Take care. Bye, my dears.